Good afternoon, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I'm Helen. And we are the creative hands minds behind Toad Hollow. And we made it through our first Folk 5 thing. Yes. Which was good. You know, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> um, we were even early. And there were a ton of people there. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I went on to make sure that the camera was set up already and there were all these people just waiting. <laughs> So that was kind of cool, but we showed a lot of our yarn and talked about ourselves and left about a minute and 30 seconds for questions. And surprisingly <laughs> enough, nobody had any. So one of the things we did, do you have your iPad with you? You don't, do you? I don't, know. Okay. Helen's going to, you, but you can put a picture in? Yeah. Okay. So one of the things we did was we put up the pictures for the polling to see which one you guys want us to dye. You're making this sound like they know what we're talking about. Didn't we talk about that? Nope. Oh, see, now you guys are in on everything. I thought we talked to you about this already. Okay. So Saturday, well, today, today during Vogue, what we did was we showed two pictures and we put up a poll and people got to vote as to which one we would use as our inspiration for our next Halloween color. And um we're gonna open it up for you guys too so and we're gonna film us dyeing it tomorrow. right whatever wins we're going to dye it tomorrow and film it so that that will be part of saturday's vogue session and uh we will also be debuting the yarn then um i almost said yarns because right now it's neck and neck and helen's doing this crazy thing about dyeing both of them um but anyway uh, we will be debuting the yarns on Saturday. What we'll do is, um, Helen's going to insert a picture of it so you can see what it is. But then go follow us on Instagram stories. It's Toad Hollow and Jay, and you get to vote which one you think would make a better yarn color. Right. And you can't say both, Heather. Okay, so... Got just one started a whole bunch there, Heather, with the whole both thing. Yeah. One or the other, please. And we'll see which one we do. Okay. Questions and comments. Look at us. We're back again. Helen had to go take care of something. And, and now it's dark. And now it's so, dark. This day. It's been this a week. Day. It's been, this week has been. Okay. Always leading into shows. It's always yeah. like that, you know? Look at this. I'm glowing. Oh, I'm so ready. It's it's raining and we had to close everything down. It's just I want it to be cold. You guys left us such great comments about our new colors. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Um, Breakfast at Tiffany's is doing very well. Yes. <laughs> I was making up a list of all the things that we need to dye, and here's a shock: Breakfast at Tiffany's is at the top of the list. So, um, and if you didn't see yesterday's podcast, this is Breakfast. At we dyed this as our Vogue Knitting Live color. I'm not used to. We're filming on a totally different device today. I have no idea how things go. <laughs> Pretty sure they don't go like that. Okay. Also, comments about the fabric. You guys are loving the fabric. Yeah. I have a lot of cutting to do tomorrow. Um, but that is so cool. And uh, Sally said that she would never quilt. Sally, welcome to my world. <laughs> I say I'm never going to do a lot of things, and then, oh, look what I'm doing. So um, come join me. Yes. <laughs> it's comfortable here. <laughs> oh, Rhonda says that um, she has to wait to buy breakfast at Tiffany's. That's okay. I have a feeling that one's going to be around yeah. for a while. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sheila says, you have to stop with the adorable fabric. Now she needs to buy all the cute mouse fabric. And, uh, oh, she's a quilter, but she's taken her best friend down the rabbit hole with her. Well, I love that you always buy duplicates of the cute ones yeah. so that she can have some, too. That's so cool. Yeah. And Teresa says that she doesn't even like mice, but now she needs it. And also, she totally agrees <laughs> with you with the puppy on the, the couch. Um, so it, yeah, the, the stroller size is perfect, especially if you're starting something. Uh, it's a great way to do some um, a quick, easy project. And it makes an awesome Christmas present. Yeah. So. And also, you get to practice your corners, getting your corners all to match up and everything. Like right. So. Okay. Um, let's see. Jessica Kelly says she loves both the new colors and the fabric. Her son would like to make himself a quilt for his bed. Where would we suggest that he look for simple pattern ideas for beginners? He has sewn nothing but uh, he's sewn but nothing big like a bed quilt. 
Um, I think my best bet, uh, my suggestion is if you search uh, beginner quilt Jenny Doan. Uh, anyway, so if you search um, beginner quilt Jenny Doan, that's Jenny from uh, Missouri Star Quilter. She has a ton of videos and it can be something as simple as putting squares together or making a very easy cat. She's got a whole bunch that just come up immediately that go from very very beginner to you know like an advanced beginner and the great thing about her is she starts you one square at a time so she shows you how to make the square and you get to making the square down and then she'll take you very quickly through making the rest of it but the pretty much just sewing your squares together so um i always i find her great and she's where we learned most of our stuff yeah so. we we started by watching her videos we weren't even sewing yet we were right. just watching her videos getting really interested in all the different ways she was talking about putting together quilts. So we spent quite a bit of time just watching the videos first and then got ourselves up to the point where we thought, okay, now we're yeah. going to start. So Jenny is amazing. Yeah. It's Missouri Star Quilt Company and her name is Jenny Doan and she's fantastic. Yeah. So that's a great way. And another way is Fat Quarter Shop. Yeah. If you go to her videos and probably search just beginner, you'll come up with a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kathy Clark bought citric acid at Walmart, which I think is a great idea yeah. for the next time we run out and have forgotten to order it, which never, ever happens here, ever. Um, okay. Karen Doran Libby says, Anita Duram. That's the illustrator from how, guess how much I love you. Yeah. I used to read her books all the time in kindergarten. Well, not when I was in kindergarten, when I was teaching kindergarten. I loved her. Her books are great. So, um. And she and thinks her illustrations just to slay me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Helen, the quilt you made for your mom is gorgeous. Thank you. And go buy a sewing machine. Oh, right. Seriously, there. Just go buy a sewing machine. Just go get it. It's okay. The toads say it's okay. Yeah. All right. Jamie Santiago says, What weight is the Highland wool, DK or worsted? Yes. Kind of in between. <laughs> it depends on the. St it really, it's. it's it's kind of just in between. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's like a heavy DK. Okay. Um, Beth Arner says very pink knits is awesome and helpful. Her slow motion videos are great. Also Suzanne Bryan, who started her local knitting guild has great instructional videos as well. So anybody who needs help with uh, knitting projects, check out Suzanne Bryan too. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay, Gail Week said that she is following Cheryl Baker on Facebook, and she loves her creations, really. She put up the print of her witch's studio yesterday, and oh, my God. I get, I get somebody, um, Helen's calling to me, um, so a charge is going to come across PayPal, because I just bought the spellcasters, or the uh, the witch's uh, studio. It's, when it comes, we'll show you. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Okay, um... Her question is the crochet shawl that you were holding up, the colors sing to her, was this a creation with your yarns? It was not. It was all different yarns that we had gotten. This was, I made this before we were dying. Um, These were yarns that you got in a swap, right? Yeah. Um, that we just put together. They're not even really super wash. And we didn't, scratchy. I don't think they came with names even. So we couldn't even yeah. give names for them. It was just, I was just going for colors that um, worked well together. And boy, so, do they. Yeah. Maybe we should look at it for tonals. I mean, I think we can probably duplicate most of them. I know them. like uh, the purple is very close to Dear Reader. The green is going to be Sage. Right. The pink, pink is going to be Lady Defiance. Yeah, with that speckles. This will be New Jersey Beaches. So. And then move. So we probably could come up with a kit for it. Yeah, give us a little oh. time. But we have to get through the weekend. This is our thing, always. We have always to get something through we have to get through. This. Yep. Um, but yeah. Allie Green says um, she's got a case of the mean reds because she can't <laughs> do the breakfast at Tespanese right now. Again, don't worry. It's not, not going anywhere. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that was it. I think she was one of the first. Yeah. Okay, I think that is pretty much it. I'm going into other okay. questions from other days. All right. So, do you have anything else? 
I don't think so. All right, so tomorrow we will be podcasting, but we're going to be dyeing yarn. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is on Facebook or on Instagram, I've put up a poll. And um, if you want to go and vote, we are going to be dyeing a new color tomorrow. And we have inspiration pictures that you can choose. Um, so follow us, Toad Hollow NJ on Instagram, and you get to take, it's in our stories. You'll be able to place your vote. And then tomorrow morning, we are going to dye one of those colors and film it, which we will then be showing on our Saturday podcast or our Saturday video for Vogue Knitting Live. So if you're going to be at Vogue, um, come by Saturday, 12 p.m. Central Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We will be doing a live thing and part of it will be, we'll show the video for our dyeing and then we'll have the fabric, the yarn available. And if you're not part of Vogue, don't worry about it. We will put it as part of Monday's, at the end of Monday's uh, podcast. Okay. So there you go. All right. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. And um, go forth and create, everybody. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.